Hello children. Today for class 5, we will start with our new poem that is poem 5. The World from a Railway Carriage Written by R. L. Stevenson I think many of us must have travelled by train. Isn't it? For those who have not travelled yet, you should. It's a fabulous experience watching the nature while sitting in the moving train. Children, you all know that train is the longest and largest mode of land transport? Yes, it is. And what a fun traveling through the train. So, let us start our poem here. Faster than fairies, faster than witches, bridges and houses, hedges and ditches, and charging along like troop, troops in a battle, all through the meadows, the horses and cattles. All of the sights of the hill and the plain fly as thick as driving rain. And ever again in the wink of an eye, painted stations whistle by. Here, in the first stanza, the poet says that the train is travelling very fast. It is travelling faster than the fairies and also faster than the witches. Children, fairies means pari. Pari you know, right? How beautiful and good looking these fairies are. And witches means women who knows magic. Means the poet is saying from the viewpoint of a small child that the train is moving very very fast. All the houses, bridges, hedges and ditches all are going along very fast. Students, hedge or say hedges are a short of fence made out of a shrub or bush. And ditches are a long low place where water can run off from a road or a field. So these are hedges and ditches. There are troops in the battle too. Troops are the soldiers who are moving quickly. The train is also passing through the meadows. Meadow is grassy field where the horses and cattle are there. The gaze is over there. The poet notices the hills and the plains which are flying as thick as driving rain. Means like the train is so fast that like in the heavy rain as we cannot see clearly, same way the hills and the plains passes by. And ever again means every now and then in the wink of an eye. Means, wink means palak japakna. As fast as we wink our eye, all the stations are passing by. At every station, the train whistles. So every now and then, there is a sound of the whistling of the train because stations are passing by. Now, we'll start with the second stanza. Here is a child who clambers and scrambles all by himself gathering brambles. Here is a tramp who stands and gazes and there is the green for stringing the daisies. Here is a cart run away in the road lumping along with man and load. And here is a meal and there is a river. Each a glimpse and gone forever. Children, here the poet says that 
here is a child who climbs up with much difficulty and quickly using his hands and all by himself to gather the brambles brambles are the blackberries and there was also a tramp tramp is a person who has no home or job he stands and gazes the train to gaze means to stare to look in one direction for a long time we can also see the green field where the daisies are growing and there was also a cart on the road moving slowly with a man and a load the poet also notices a river and a mill each with a glimpse glimpse means a quick look and everything gone forever this is all because the speed of the train is very very fast and how the world looks while sitting inside from a railway carriage is described here by the poet poet is r l stevenson children once again we'll read the poem the world from a railway carriage faster than fairies faster than witches bridges and houses hedges and ditches and charging along like troops in a battle all through the meadows the horses and cattle all of the sides of the hill and the plain fly as thick as driving rain and ever again in the wink of an eye painted stations whistle by here is a child who clambers and scrambles all by himself and gathering brambles here is a tramp who stands and gazes and there is the green for stringing the daisies here is a cart run away in the road lumping along with man and load and here is a mill and there is a river each a glimpse and gone forever yes i think children you all must have understood the poem even we have the rhyming words in each sentences see first we have riches and ditches second battle cattle third plain rain fourth i buy fifth scrambles brambles sixth gazes daisies seventh road load and the last one river ever yes thank you children